that you subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, do you want to explain why you haven't subscribed to my channel? I can wait. Just tell me. It's literally free and it's so easy. Just one click away. The button is down there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and tell me why. I'll wait. So washing and drying your clothes over and over again can actually damage them in the long run. Of course, I'm not talking about your underwear or things that you have to wear every day like your uniform, work clothes, or gym clothes. Those should be washed regularly. The clothing items that I try not to wash and dry as often are the ones with delicate fabric items with complicated constructions or expensive items. Every time you wash these items, the colors will fade away a bit and the shape will start to change slowly. They might shrink and the fabric quality worsens, making your item look used and abused. Sounds familiar. Like someone I know. Maybe me. I treat my clothing items with gentle care so that I can still wear these items for a longer time. Luckily, there are a lot of ways you can do to keep your items clean and brand new. You don't have to throw it in the washer and dryer every time. So in today's video, I will show you guys some quick and easy ways to remove stains, wrinkles, and bad odors. And I probably will show you how to take care of your denim too. So let's go. And before we start the video, please click the subscribe button below. Yeah, it's super simple. Just click the button below and you're good to go. Other than that, let's jump into the video. I'll define this video in five different categories. We have wrinkle, stain, bad odor, denim, and dirty clothes. So I hate using an iron. It's too much work. You have to press and flat the item carefully. You also have to make sure not to miss any spots. <sighs> so time consuming. But I have two alternative ways to remove these wrinkles without using an iron. The first technique that I usually use when I'm in a hurry is this wrinkle release bottle. It's actually not for your skin, it's for your clothes, especially for your fabric. So don't spray this on your skin. Wow. Allow me to demonstrate. What I do is I would spray it from afar like this. And then I stretch out the fabric like that. You probably can't tell, but the side looks much better. So see all these wrinkles right here? When I stretch it out, the side looks better. And the second way is to use a steamer. Using a steamer can also quickly release these wrinkles. It's super effective and easy. You don't have to adjust the heat or flip your item a thousand different ways or position to press it. Just put your shirt on a hanger and let the steam do its magic. So talk about steamer. This is my little steamer. I just turn it on. I'll show you guys how I steam my clothes. Do you hear that? It's boiling already. Like that's how fast it is. Oh yeah, it's boiling. So make sure to be careful too because this is actually hot water. And also when the air comes out here, like you can see the steam right here, this is not a face mist. Like it's not a face mist machine where you put, literally put your face in front and inhale the air. It is not. It's literally fucking hot. So be careful, okay? So basically you just do this. 
So, I should steam this part of my shirt. Looks great. I did not steam this part of my shirt. I fucking hate getting stains on my shirt. Whether it's a food stain, dirt stain, or makeup stain. I always feel the need to get rid of it immediately. And luckily, this pen is amazing. There are other brands that you can try, but for me, I use this pen. And it is this Thai to go pen. Let's take a moment to look at my outfit first. Basically, just press the pen on your stain and then start erasing it. The stain will go away in a short amount of time. So easy, am I right? Okay, so here's another white shirt that I have. Let's pretend that I have a makeup stain on the shirt. So I'm just gonna like, no, I don't wanna do this, but okay. So if you can see, I have some makeup stains right here. Put it on a flat surface. Erase the part. You can't even see the makeup stain anymore. Now it's just a huge water stain. But as soon as it dries, then the stain will be gone. This is for all my Korean barbecue lovers out there. You want to dress cute, but you definitely don't want to dress cute to a Korean barbecue dinner because the after smell is fucking ridiculous. It will linger on your clothes forever. Luckily, there's a way to fix that. And it's not spraying a whole bunch of perfume on your body. I actually use this fabric refreshner spray to get rid of the smell and then hang the item up facing the sunlight for a few hours then suddenly the smell disappears just like that Ooh. who says i'm not a magician okay so with the spray bottle it's literally so easy you don't have to do anything you just spray the shirt Make sure you cover every part of this shirt, like the inside, your armpits. I'll leave the link in the description box so you can um, get this item if you want to. So it depends on how much money I invested in a pair of jeans. The higher the amount, the more careful I am with my denim. Denim fabric is extremely tricky. If you wash and try it, then the color will fade away and the fabric will shrink. Well, there's another way to fix that. You can actually clean your jeans by freezing them. It's real and it's 100% true. For example, I have this pair of jeans from Mother. Not my mom. The brand is Mother. And it cost me around, I would say 200. I might be wrong. It is high quality denim. And it gives my ass a good boost without getting implants. So for $200, I'd rather get these than getting implants in my body. So of course, I'm not going to throw these in the washer for them to get abused. So what I usually do is I freeze them. I usually put them in a bag and you want to let it air out. Leave them in the freezer for about a day or two. The longer the better, but freezing your jeans will kill bacteria. Now, what are bacteria? I have to put on my safety goggles when I talk about bacteria because it's like science and chemistry and you know I want to look a little smart and I want to look well educated when I talk about this. Bacteria are these ugly, dirty, disgusting little bitches that cause everything to smell. So one example, your fridge. When your milk turns spoiled, it has a lot of bacteria in it. Your sweat. When you sweat, your body smells sweaty, your body smells bad. It's because you're releasing your bacteria, I guess. Also your clothes. Your clothes smell bad because of bacteria. And also your pussy. 
um, explains the fishy smell. So last but not least, I want to talk about dirty clothes. Of course, if I don't have time, I would use my washer. But what if you really like the item or it's an expensive item? So what I do to wash my shirt and keep it clean and nice without ruining it is I hand wash it. It's really easy. There are a lot of tutorials out there on you know YouTube that you can watch. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have time to do this, just throw your items in the washer. But for other washing instructions, I really recommend you to follow the instructions on the care tab. It's very important. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.